learnt that conjunction means joining together. So, a conjunction is a joining word that is used for joining together sentences, words and groups of words. We have learned some common conjunctions like and, but, or. Today, we will learn about some other conjunctions. Let us read this sentence. You will get more toys if you behave properly. What do we understand? We understand that if is a conjunction. What is it joining? You will get more toys with you behave properly properly. What else is it saying? We understand if we read the sentence carefully that if is putting a condition in the sentence. Now what is a condition? When something happens only if another thing happens then we say there is a condition. What is the condition in this sentence? You will get more toys if you behave properly. So, this child will get toys only if she behaves properly. So, what is the condition here? You behave properly is the condition. And what is the action that is dependent on the condition? You will get more toys is depending on this condition. So, this will happen only if this happens. We can also write the sentence in another way. We can start the sentence with if. If you behave properly, you will get more toys. What are we seeing in both the cases? In both the cases, we are seeing that the condition follows if, whether we write it in the middle of the sentence or we start the sentence with if, the condition follows if, then we put a comma. Why? Because we want to make the condition separate from the action that is dependent on it. What is the action dependent on it? You will get more toys. Now let us read this sentence. The vehicles cannot pass unless the tree is removed. What do we understand? We understand that as long as the tree is not removed, the vehicles cannot pass. So unless is also giving a condition in the sentence. So unless is also Giving a condition, what is the condition here? The tree is removed. So, what do we understand? That as long as the tree is not removed, the vehicles cannot pass. So, unless is the same as saying, if the tree is not removed, the vehicles cannot pass. So, unless actually means if not. So, it is the same thing if we say the vehicles cannot pass if the tree is not removed. If not and unless mean the same. We can also start the sentence with unless. Then how will we write? Unless the tree is removed, the vehicles cannot pass. In both the cases, what are we seeing? That unless is followed by the condition. What is the condition? The tree is removed. So, like if, unless is always followed by the condition. In this case, when we start a sentence with unless, we put a comma after the condition to make it clear what the condition is and that this action depends on the condition. What is the action depending on this condition? The vehicles cannot pass. So, this sentence is same as saying, 
if the tree is not removed, the vehicles cannot pass because we know unless is same as saying if not. Here we have written if not in the middle of the sentence because unless was used in the middle of the sentence. Here we have started the sentence with unless. So we have started this sentence also with if. If the tree is not removed, the vehicles cannot pass. So all these sentences actually give us the same information. So we are seeing that unless and if not can be used interchangeably most of the times. And unless is used when there is a negative statement. Cannot makes it a negative statement. The vehicles cannot pass. So unless is mostly used with a negative statement. Some conjunctions are used to express a condition. So if, unless are two conjunctions which we have used to express a condition. We shall not play outside if the weather is not good. What is the condition here? If the weather is not good, they will not play outside. So the condition is the weather is not good. This is the same as saying we shall not play outside unless the weather is good. We know unless means if not. Here also we are seeing that this is a negative statement because not is used here. So we shall not play outside unless the weather is good. We can also write this in the beginning of the sentence. If the weather is not good, we shall not play outside. This is the condition. If the weather is not good, we have put a comma to separate the condition from the event that depends on it. What is the event that depends on it? We shall not play outside. Now because we have used if in the beginning of the sentence, how else can we write this sentence? Unless the weather is good, we shall not play outside. Notice that we have put the comma here because the condition is written after unless and we have to keep the condition separate from the action that depends on it. You cannot open the door unless you have the key. What does this mean? As long as you do not have the key, you cannot open the door. So what is our condition? You have the key. And what is the action dependent on it? You cannot open the door. So it is the same as saying you cannot open the door if you do not have the key. Here you will see that we have included do before not. Both the sentences tell us the same thing. That the condition is to have the key. If you do not have the key, you cannot open the door. We can write this with the sentence beginning with if. If you do not have the key, the condition followed by a comma, you cannot open the door. This is the same as saying unless you have the key, you cannot open the door. Unless is also followed by the condition, then the comma and then the action which depends on it. Can you now fill in the blank with the appropriate conjunction? Dash you go to the shop, buy a black pen for me. What are the options given to us? Unless, if. Can we say here, unless you go to the shop, Buy a black pen for me. We know that unless means if not. So does this sound correct if I say if you don't go to the shop, buy a black pen for me? It does not make sense. If you go to the shop, buy a black pen for me. So the correct answer is if.
fill in the blank with the appropriate conjunction. The kid will not stop crying, dash, she gets the bottle. What are the options given to us? Unless, if. Can we say, the kid will not stop crying if she gets the bottle? No, the kid will not stop crying as long as she does not get the bottle. So what will we write? We will write, unless. The kid will not stop crying unless she gets the bottle. So what did we learn today? We learned that if and unless are two conjunctions which are used to express conditions. We also learned that unless is equal to writing if not. They mean the same. Unless is used in negative statements, in statements which have not. There are many more conjunctions and we will soon learn about them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.